Kevin, more than 60 pastors in the Grand Rapids area announced they're now closing their churches for just a few weeks. Earlier today, they told our Lauren Edwards that even though they are not required to close, they are doing it to stand in solidarity with the state's efforts to slow the spread of COVID-19. Dozens of churches, 61 to be exact, including Brown Hutcherson Ministries behind me, are going to be closed temporarily just for the next three weeks. I spoke with one of the members there who's also a part of the task force, and he was just saying, that, you know, everyone's on the same page. They have to flatten the curve, and the church is just doing its part. We, we want to encourage our, 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 our frontline staff. We want to encourage all the folks in public health. Uh, to say that the church gets it and we're behind you. And now more than 60 pastors in the Grand Rapids area are closing their church's doors to help slow the spread of COVID-19. We say closed. Uh, they've been digitally meeting on Zoom and other methods. Uh, so we say the church isn't closed, it's deployed. But no one's allowed inside the church building, says Reverend Kari Bridgewater with the Kent County COVID-19 Church Task Force. He says worship services, weddings, baptisms and other events will not happen for the time being. The task force is is delighted to make this announcement in support of our health care system and our health care workers. A number of churches have been meeting since uh, the first COVID case in March. They've been meeting on a weekly basis with health officials, reopening with their advice and now closing again with COVID cases spiking. He says the group has a lot of respect for frontline workers. They've done such a fantastic job work, working double shifts. Uh, putting themselves at risk for, on our behalf. And so the church has just said, you know, we believe in them, we care for them. So they're going to close. Reverend Bridgewater says closing is also about protecting their congregations, which have already been impacted by the virus. We, you know, as pastors have the privilege of being with people in the best and worst times. And so, you know, we were with those families that have members that are hospitalized or with those families that are actually approaching are burying loved ones. So they're closing for three weeks and afterwards they'll decide whether or not to reopen. Everyone I know is trying to be very cautious, thoughtful, um, because they too want to take care of their members. So I asked Reverend Bridgewater, you know, did you get any pushback on any of this? And he said no. He said that's actually been the heartwarming part is that so many people are on board with this. And they're also asking everyone and enforcing wearing masks and abiding by those restrictions that the state set earlier this week. And if you would like to know if your church is a part of this, you can head to fox17online.com or click on our mobile app. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. All right, Lauren, thank you.